Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. Alia today, William Ruto Johnson Sakaja, Alice Waome, among a host of other leaders, toward Kilifi County. And in our earlier video some few hours ago, we did a detailed analysis on that and what the tour means politically in that the tour is coming at a time Johnson Sakaja is under serious attacks from Rigadi Gashagwa and his allies. If you missed the video, it's a wonderful analysis. In this video right now, I want us to listen to some remarks, remarks that have been trending for the last two days. For the remarks are going to form the basis of our analysis and a discussion right now. Listen to this. Mimi naitua Mwangi Sanchez. Na mimi ni mtu ya mulima. Mimi ni metoka uko moranga. Dani kabisa. Mimi ni mfanyi biyashara Nairobi. Nafanya biyashara ya magari. Nafanya biyashara ya insurance. Na uza magari. Na niko kwa biyashara ya matatu. Mimi ni mekasirika juu ya mtu wanaitua Johnson Sakaja. Sakaja ametumiwa na mtu wanaitua Mosaria Mudabadi kukoga biyashara za wakikuyu na yobi. Tuseme hivi. Tunatuma ligave gashagua kwa Sakaja. Na juu tulimutuma hapo Sakaja akajaribu kumurudishia mdomo. Wacha tuwabia Sakaja hiyo kiti amekaria juu ya wakikuyu. Na wakikuyu diyo wenye biyashara na yobi. Vira na yobi ilikuwa kitambo. Si venye hiko sai, imefikisho hapo na wakikuyu. Sakaja amekuja Nairobi, ametorewa na musali ya mudavadu huko western. Amekuja tu Nairobi juzi. Amepewa kiti ya governor. Alikuwa amenominitua MP na uhuru kenyata. Na uhuru kenyata ni president wa mukikuyu. Ananominate mtu wa western. Anakuwa MP. Haka kuja Sakaja tukampea kiti ya governor Nairobi. Na si mukikuyu. Hawezi yogea kikuyu. Tukaacha mtu wetu mkikuyu anaitwa Igathe. Come out. Ha? Mtu wametoka kwa, kwa mlima, Moranga huko ndani. Tukamwacha, tukapee Sakaja. Alafu anatumiwa na Musali ya Mudavadi kugoga biashara za wakikuyu. Tumwambia hivi, Sakaja, tuliona juzi umeenda umetafuta ule mtu mnatumia tukitutwake anaitwa Wajakoya, akuje agonge Igathe Gashagwa. Akuje asabaratisha mambo ya Nairobi. Akuje asabaratisha mambo ya biashara za wakikuyu. Tumekutuma na tumekupea wiki bili biashara za wakikuyu zirainisho kama sio hivyo kabla ukate ligadhe gashagu wa miguu tutakuwa tukakata yako asante sana yes looking at those three gentlemen even from their appearances do they look like serious businessmen <laughs> yes that aside they are making it very clear that it's Musalia Mudavadi who is using Sakaja to destroy Kikuyu businesses. And they are also making it very clear that Nairobi is for Kikuyus. And then they are ending the speech by saying before Sakaja kuvunja rigadhi mgu watamvunja mgu kwanza so the question begs rigadhi gashagwa is johnson sakaja's boss i don't think sakaja has the power kuvunja rigadhi mgu that last speech or rather the last remarks those remarks are clearly and directly meant for William Samoy Ruto. Yes, they are just telling William Ruto, before uvunje rigadhi mgu, tutavunja mgu yaku. That's what I'm making of those remarks. But all in all, those individuals are not talking to Johnson Sakaja. They are talking to William Samoy Ruto. And if at all, they are talking to Johnson Sakaja, 
then I can only but describe them as politically naive. They are political greenons. And besides being political greenons, they are also coming out as cowards. Because honestly, the mere fact that Johnson Sakaja has shown interest of removing Matatu from the CBD. Today we saw William Ruto with Johnson Sakaja in Kilifi confirming that they have a cordial working relationship. And in the tour we also saw Alice Waomi, somebody coming from the mountain. So I'm seeing a William Ruto who is cleverly trying to play politics here. Ruto is firmly behind Johnson Sakaja. And it's almost very obvious and very certain that William Ruto himself might have given Johnson Sakaja the go ahead to remove Matatus from the CBD. That's something I've been saying and I keep repeating and maintaining that here. Is William Ruto behind Johnson Sakaja? So regarding Ashago and his team, they should not be cheating their supporters that it's Sakaja doing all this. Let Rigadi and his allies be men and women brave enough to face William Ruto. Let them make it very clear to William Ruto mm, that you are the one doing this. They should stop cheating their supporters that Johnson Sakaja is the problem. Sakaja is not the problem, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, now that the remarks have been trending for the last about two days, and we are seeing William Ruto today with Johnson Sakaja, that confirms it to me, just as I've been saying, that regarding Ashagwa is just a noisemaker. He is not being taken seriously in this government. William Ruto, after all, knows Rigadi, as of now, is still a political lightweight, even in, on the mountain. So Ruto is not really taking Sakaja, not Rigadi, very seriously. But if at all, Rigadi had some political weight, then I'm very sure William Ruto could have intervened and maybe a solution could have been found out. But now that he's just talking, but no, no, nothing is happening, just confirms Ruto is not uh, taking uh, Rigadi Gashagwa seriously. He considers him a political lightweight. That's what I'm seeing here. And the kind, the kind of hatred hmm, those gentlemen are talking with also just confirms something that I've been saying here. Our mountain brothers and sisters, they seem to, to like or to love politics of hate and, and divisions. Hmm? Any leader who can come out as very loud in inciting, that leader becomes an instant celebrity on the mountain. And even from the way they're talking, that's really very unfortunate for them to make those remarks. And now to Musalia Mudavadi. Musalia is also making a very big political blunder here. Because I personally believe that as William Ruto's government oppresses the poor and Musalia Mudavadi is silent and quiet, I'm seeing a Musala Mudavadi who is also just digging his political grave. Musala has been in government before. This is not the first time Musala is being in government. In fact, Musala, during Moe's time, he was in government and he was even a vice president. So Musala should not behave as if he has never been part of the government before. If William Ruto's government is making blunders, Musalia Mo, Mudavadi should not actually be silent. He should be coming out 
to maybe identify with the Kenyans. The more he keeps quiet, in fact, William Ruto is killing Musalia politically. William Ruto, in the absence of the mountain vote, William Ruto is just a shell. But looking at the future, at the future political reality in Kenya, it's almost certain that if the trend continues, if Rigadi continues with this head speech, Rigadi will emerge as the mountain kingpin. He will snatch away the mountain votes from William Samoy Ruto. And that bill will be very unfortunate on the side of Musalia Mudawadi because Musalia, as he supports a government that is oppressing Kenyans, Kenyans outside of the mountain and outside of the Kalenji Rift Valley will hate Musalia for his silence. So Musalia should not be silent. And Musalia should also not assume that because maybe leaders, elected leaders in Western are trooping to his team, he, he should not assume that now he has the ground. Because even in the year 2007, we had a good majority of Western Kenya leaders under Ford Kenya supporting Mwai Kibaki. That was in 2007. So uh, the biggest percentage of elected leaders in 2007 were supporting Kibaki. The ground was going a different direction. So yes, elected leaders can warm to your side. That does not mean the ground is also with you. So Musalia should use this occasion is in government to build this political brand. In fact, if Musalia starts correcting this government, I'm seeing a Musalia who can just emerge as a very strong leader. If he fails to use this opportunity, I'm seeing a Musalia who instead of building his political brand, he is killing his political brand permanently. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to support us here, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number. Let's meet in our next analysis.